leads are all over the internet and the issue is not even finding them the issue is the amount of years it's going to take you to find those leads and that's just half the job the second part is actually enriching those links and finding out if they are really usable well that is where scrap is going to come in and it's going to help you with that issue so let me show you what i'm talking about now this is scrap and i do recommend that you sign up and test it out right now and jump over to the dashboard now scrap has a really great main feature which is the linkedin enrichment feature now that means that you can be in linkedin and start finding leads manually now this is my profile in case you guys want to find me on linkedin now you want to grab the chrome extension from scrap so the first thing that scrap is going to incentivize you to do is to install the chrome extension so just go ahead and click on this link and install it on the chrome browser that way you'll have it available just like this now that will enable you to search around linkedin and find leads now let me go ahead and search for a company that's local to my region which is copel it's it's a local company here so they got a lot of employees so let me go ahead and jump into the people's tab and there's going to be a list of several available contacts that i can start contacting right now it'll take me ages to do this manually now the idea here is to use the chrome extension from scrap let me go ahead and select this and I'm able to do this automatically. The idea here is to select the profiles that we want to enrich. So in this case, I can select the amount of pages that I want to go through. So in this case, there's several available pages. In this case, I'm just going to do three for testing purposes. And then I have options to configure settings. Now in configure settings, I can set the only key profiles with email addresses, which would be highly advisable because maybe you don't want contacts that don't have the email. So I would recommend you turn that on. Then you have the option to auto connect and follow profiles. Now scrap is going to do this automatically and it will stay within the limits that are safe. So don't worry about that. So you can enable this and it'll automatically stop. Now this will auto connect and follow selected profiles. So here we go. We just enabled that. Let's go ahead and save this. And then we need to select the list where we want to send these contacts to. Now in this case, I have a list of all my list of available here, but I want to use this one because I'm, I plan to use the other one. So I'm going to use this for demo purposes. Okay. So we are good to go. I have selected three pages and I'm going to enrich and this is going to do it automatically for me. So just in a few seconds, here we go. It followed and now it's finding the email and it just found the email for the first page, jump into the second page, doing the same process and should be jumping to the third page and we should be done with this process. Here we go. We're now done it now found the emails for those profiles and we connected with them. Now I'm able to jump into my list of contacts and I'll be able to view them over here. So here we go. We got the email for all these people, including these other companies that I've tested out. And it's just super easy for me to grab this right here, 20 results. I can sync it to my CRM. In this case, I'm connected to HubSpot. I can send it out really easily by selecting right here, which I'm not going to do. I can go ahead and export this manually. So I can filter this out by ballot only catch all. I don't want to export the invalid. So I would turn this off and unknown. I wouldn't risk it. So I would remove that. Okay. So I want to use ballot and catch all and I can export via CSV or Excel to bring it into my email marketing system. So it's super easy to take full advantage of the feature here on the Chrome extension to search for the LinkedIn. Now that works with this. It works with companies. It works with profiles. And it's just super easy to use. Plus the Chrome extension also works on websites. So take, for example, here, I'm in the scrap website. I can click on the Chrome extension and I can go ahead and get emails. And it's going to know that I'm on that domain and I, I want to grab the emails from that domain. So I have these available emails that I can enrich right now. So I can grab these and I can send it off to the email list. In this case, that email list is fine. And boom, it's been added to the list. It's going to find out if it's a a catch all if it's a valid invalid etc and i'm not going to waste time doing this manually which is going to save me a ton of time now that is for the chrome extension which is pretty cool they also have an ai search feature which is pretty cool so let's jump into the search feature and they have the ai search so the idea here is just to type in what you want and it's going to provide you the list of emails available so let me go ahead and give it a an idea here okay let's kick this one off which is something pretty local it's in my city and I'm searching for marketers in my city, which is pretty cool because you know that they're going to find it where I'm actually located, where I'm actually interested in. So it's not just like most of the other ones that just find in the US. This is actually local. OK, so here we go. We got some companies here there. It's going to tell me the lead name, the company, their job role, OK, 
education, the industry, and the headcount. So maybe I don't want to get those big companies. Let's just say I want to pitch to them my marketing service. I'm not going to do it to companies that have over, I would say, a thousand because they probably have their own marketing building. So what I want to do is find small companies like this one, 51 to 200, 51 to 200, grab these, for example, and I would get the emails for these. Now I can get one by one or I can use the get select all emails. Now the AI feature is going to make things super easy for me because it's already going to add the details here for the filter. Now I can also do this manually in case I want to do this manually. Okay. So in this case, I can add the name here in case I want to find someone that has a particular name. I can do job titles, location, general company. So current company, previous company type, industry, etc. Just a lot of filters available here to find the right leads that you are going to need. Like, like I mentioned, so maybe you don't want people. So like I mentioned, maybe you don't want a company that has more than a hundred employees, or maybe you don't want companies that just started out. Maybe you want companies that had over hundred employees. So depending on what you want to offer, then you would find those type of leads. Okay. So you got lead search and you got company search. So same thing goes, but filters are going to change to find the company. See how it changes the headcount range, the year founded, you got location, revenue, funding options available here. So it changes when you want to find company search, which is pretty cool, right? Next thing I want to show you is the list. So you already saw one of the lists available here where I enriched the email, but I can create lists right here to separate the type of leads that I'm finding. So for example, I've been finding home builders, which is something that I'm going to need for my business uh, for SaaS companies for the videos. And I just have lists to organize my leads that I'm grabbing. Okay. Scrap also has an email finder feature where you, if you have a CSV or an Excel with a list of company names, websites, etc. You can bring this out of here, upload it, tie the elements one with another, and it's going to find the leads for you in bulk, which is pretty cool. There's the bulk email finder and the email finder feature, which can do this manually. Now, this is the bulk and the email finder. Okay. Then there's the email verifier. Again, you could do this via bulk uploading a CSV. So if you have a list of for giveaways that you've ran, if you have a subscriber list, etc., you can bring this out of here and bulk email find or the email verifier. So if you want to verify an email, just bring this out of here and go ahead and verify it. So you can see here that my email is verified and we're good to go. I can do this manually just by typing it in or by the bulk email finder. Then you can also view your exports from here and your integrations. Currently, these are the integrations available, but you have the API access. So that means that if you want to integrate this with other applications, that is possible through API. So if you ask me, Scrap is super easy to use. The LinkedIn feature is fantastic. It's going to save you a ton of time to find leads. Practically, if you do this manually, it'll take you forever. So doing this with Scrap is going to save you a ton of time. So sign up right now and start finding leads and enrich them so you can start sending out your marketing emails. And that's a wrap for Scrap.